Hello Intertubers and welcome to uh, another privateer video, uh, kind of. So I'm just going to go to some dodgy website and download something. Yeah, that will do nicely. You need to, uh... Okay, um... Yeah, I just need to make a place for it. I think I'll, I'll, I'll fast forward over this bit. You know how to make, you know how to download stuff and unzip it. Oh, God damn it, Windows. This is okay, I wrote it myself. So it's watching a directory which happens to be uh, the directory where my privateer save files go. So let's run private and see what happens. So, how do you play this game? Uh, I'm not sure I can even remember. Let's see, you you sell the scanner, right? And then sell everything and buy t two missile launchers. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Armour, don't really need that. Shield, I guess I have to, have to keep that if I'm selling the armour. Don't need that. Okay, yeah, second missile launcher, and uh, it'll have to be heat-seeking missiles, because, of course, the crappy scanner cannot lock. And then I just have to take a contract to kill somebody. Uh, another one in Troy. Military, no thanks. Patrol, no, takes too long. Aha, Achilles. Uh, Achilles is where I am. Right. Ah. Okay, it's a retro. Okay, get behind and that's a miss, isn't it? The purifying fire of the Lord. Now entering an automatic landing zone. Okay, that was a good shot. So I expect yes. Now entering an automatic landing zone. Right, one six hundred credits, and that should turn into a bit more when I land. Okay, great, seven thousand. I guess I can buy fancy stuff, like armor. Uh, no, wait, uh, tungsten armor. And even an afterburner. And I'll double my firepower. How's that? Now I'll save the game. And hopefully something interesting will happen. Hey, I got some achievements. So yeah, there's one for equipping an afterburner. Uh, one for a first kill. And one for the two missile launchers. So the way this works is it it looks at the save file uh, to see what you got. Right, um, Achilles again. Yeah, might as well do that again. No, no, uh, no, no. No, and definitely avoid the ones that talk about disappearance of military craft, because it's usually Kilrathi that did it. Now, with afterburners, this should be a bit easier than the last ones. Ah, oh yeah, I forgot, the TARS is a pile of crap. Um, has enough energy for two seconds of afterburning. So, so pick those two seconds wisely, I guess.
Now entering an automatic landing zone. Fight mercenaries. Uh, no. Ah, yeah, Helen could do that. Reichel, no. Listen up. If good. Maybe there's something. No, crap. Uh, ah, yeah, kill Rathi. That's very bad. Another one. That's doable. Hi, how are you? Great! That might as well, you know. Even though the odds of omission are pretty low. Yeah. Yeah, first one was an F1, wasn't it? Ah, oh, such a slow animation. That's my fault for being at 150, not 300. So yeah, the afterburners do work if you turn your shields off. Um, <laughs> what a wonderful ship the Tarsus is. Prepare to be searched. Maintain speed and oh, I got port. tangled no up in the nav points. May proceed. And that can auto pirate away. There's bad guys here. You've got to use the communication to uh, to tell friend from foe. Or just base it off who's shooting at you, that also works. Okay, where is he? There he is, that's the uh, mission pirate who uh, I've been told to kill. Now, if the if the intro sequence was telling the truth, three laser hits should be enough to kill that guy, right? What? Oh well, I guess I... Alright, three laser hits are the right number if you miss out them first. I think that intro might have been lying to me. I mean, the part where the Tarsus outmaneuvers missiles is also a little bit suspect. <laughs> now entering an automatic landing zone. Uh, well, I guess those missiles. Sorry, those missions paid for the guild membership, but that's about it. Um, so I think I'm going to get one more achievement here. Yeah, optimism. Uh, <laughs> Merchant's Guild membership, but no jump drive. Now, I have seen missions from Helen to the... Uh, delivering missions from Helen to the uh, mining bases in Troy. Just, I haven't seen them very often. <laughs> okay, I could do that one. Yeah, the thing about the Tarsus, a Tarsus has a respectable cargo base, so even though missions are the main source of income, you should be trading on the side. So that mister actually is something useful I can buy, the old cargo expansion. 
I have to wonder how that works. Are you buying a portable hole? Yeah, that's reasonably full. Remember that in the cutscene, uh, the privateer guy did this with just one laser. Ooh, does that still count as killing a pilot with just lasers? This crate's about to explode! Yeah, drop the shields so the afterburner works. Maybe we can do business sometime. Um, that, that voice didn't quite match that picture, did it? <laughs> Well, it is the 25th century, or whatever. Now entering an automatic landing zone. Mm, can't really do much with 8,000 credits. That pays a lot, but can't really do enough puts in Perry. Ooh, enough three in Troy, nine thousand. Can't absolutely do that. That's seven, yeah. And Achilles, which is where I am, yeah. And I need to. Uh, oh wait, I don't because I killed that guy using only lasers. Right. to get at that guy without getting tangled up in the space station and automatically docking. Maybe the militia will kill now him for- Now entering an ah! automatic landing zone. This is not working out very well, is it? You know what? I'm going to do the other missions first. Uh, oh, that's just a go-to mission, is it? Well, fine by me. Retros, uh, there seems to be two of them. Ah, crap, yeah, there's definitely two of them. Okay, well, that's enough of that. Oh, 
here's the retro. Maybe I can get near him this time. I'm gonna taunt him, see if that helps. Or her. So, in space, loud noises such as explosions are even louder because there's no air to get in the way. They got the militia guy. Your destruction is the will of God. I suppose that just about counts as killing a guy in mid monologue. Alright, mission's completed, time to limp home. Entering an automatic landing zone. Okay, that's a reasonable amount of money finally. I can actually upgrade this ship. But first. Ooh, one more achievement. Uh, yeah for forgetting to repair the scanner. <laughs> I'm particularly pleased with that one. If you if you have a damaged scanner, no repair droid and no damaged armor. You get that one and uh, it's an easy mistake to make cuz uh, a scanner repair is hidden in, in the software booth. So, yeah, uh, Privateer has achievements now. I mean, this is a pretty early, and uh, there might be a better front end at some point. But the, the core of it is working. Yeah, okay. So, uh, I'm running this in the development mode, but that shouldn't be a problem. No, wait, you can't do show. You've got to do list first to see uh, which identities, so to speak, are in play. Uh, this guy is called Test Testy. And uh, the, that'll list the achievements, with which I do not have very many. Now, yeah, show missing. That might be more interesting. So yeah, there are achievements of various levels of difficulty, culminating in feats of insanity and get to the derelict in Atarsis, uh, which is, that was going to be a real pain because you, you've got to go through the whole plot and do some really tough fights in Atarsis. And uh, all of these are kind of tricky. Well, except maybe this one. Uh, carry more than twice as much cargo as will fit in your ship. You can do that in 10 minutes, um, but the rest are painful. And I think that that top one is the most painful of all. So I'm going to prove it's possible, uh, I hope, by actually doing it. Uh, that's the plan anyway. So I will be attempting that in the next few videos and uh, I hope you watch me do it because, well, watching me suffer is fun, isn't it? So, see you next time.